subscribe to my channel, like this, and subscribe below. Good job, cameraman. Drink both in here. No? Nah, not that song. I make up a drink. I'm thirsty. We know energy. We know Corey can roll with that. Champagne. I swear somebody's taking this stuff, dude. I have a half full, I thought. So I changed my shirt. Too tight. Check it out, Troy Hutchinson here on this beautiful Wednesday afternoon. Oh, I'm pumped up right now. Huh, so much going on, so much to talk about. Um, ah, all right, so as you guys seen, my last video I posted was the 10,000 calorie challenge. You got, you guys seem to love it, I loved it. My kids were involved, my family's involved. They are what truly matter most to me. Um, but something happened uh, last, I'm sorry, the night of my 10,000 calorie challenge, I got a, a deposit to my account. It was my first, my first payment from um, YouTube. So I guess I'm officially now a YouTuber. Is that how it works? After you get your first paycheck, you're officially a YouTuber? I, I don't know. I don't know how it works. Now, I'm not saying I'm a famous YouTuber. Don't get that twisted. I'm just, uh, I enjoy what I do, and I've learned to, I, I'm not trying to put a front on a persona no more. This is who I am. I give you guys 100% me. This is me every time I get on the camera. This is who I am, off camera and on camera, every single time. What I'm trying to say is who I, how I act off the camera when the camera's not on, is who I'm gonna be on the camera. This this is who I am. When we go to the gym, when uh, I'm with the crew at the gym and we're doing this or we're doing challenges, we're gonna be ourselves. There's no fake persona. This is who we are, guys. Um, I, I just wanted to touch base with you guys. And as for, I, I try to edit, I try to keep it clean, clean language as much as I can. Uh, I'm not much of a person to advocate. I think I think swear I think you know using vulgarity is trashy a lot of times when people use it excessively. Okay, and what I mean excessively is every other word you say is f this, f that. You know, it, it just looks it's not a good image for anybody, for anybody at all. But if that's who you are, that's fine. Um, but I try to advocate on my channel. I don't really try to have as much of it on there. But there's going to be times where it's on there. So I just wanted to. Kind of dress out with you guys, and I, I guess just give you a heads up that um, I told my boy, you know, they do a good job now, but there's times where I have to edit certain clips out because they slip a word here and there. That's going to be in there, guys. I, I can't, I can't, I'm not going to start, I'm not going to keep editing every every vulgar word out. I just, this is who we are. This is 100% the real us, the real me. <sighs> Anyways, though, so back to what this video is all about. I just want to touch a quick video here, real quick. <sighs> Stuff. Basically, what I want to touch on today is um, it's a blessed day. Every day is a blessed day you wake up. When your feet hit that ground, you're blessed because you woke up, people. You woke up and you're alive and you're well. Don't take it for granted. A lot of people take, you know, we take those these, these great days, no matter how bad they may be, we take it for granted. So enjoy every day and live it to the fullest. So as I was saying, I got my first official paycheck from YouTube, sorry, Google AdSense. Uh, and it, it's awesome feeling. It's and, you know it wasn't a thousand dollar check. It was a it was a hefty check. It was a decent amount check for what it is. Uh, I'm not going to disclose how much, uh, but it was a good amount. It shocked me. I was literally thinking it was going to be you know a few bucks here, a few bucks there, and uh, it's my first actual paycheck. I've been doing it since February this year, so we are now about four, three to four months in on this, and I'm loving it. Uh, a lot of people have been hitting me up talking about, you know, the subscribers aren't going up as fast as they were at first. Uh, views are kind of declining. That is true, and I, I blame myself. I truly blame myself because I've been not really bringing enough good content to you guys. I'm bringing the same, after you watch the same workouts, weekly and weekly, and, you know, the only thing I've been changed up is, you know, additional videos of food challenges and maybe some different advice videos, motivational videos. So I'm gonna start trying to get better videos out to you guys, better content, get it out to you. Um, it's, and as I said, it's, it's, it's me, it's my fault. I, it's my channel, I need to bring the best me to it. So, uh, it, and I will, I will do that, I will strive to be better at this, I promise. So I just wanted to touch on that and let you guys know that we will get these views up, we'll get the subscribers up, the channel will grow. It, it, you put enough positive energy into anything, it's gotta give it back, 100% fold. It has to, that's, that's the way I believe and I look at life. As for YouTube, I really just want to touch on this and, you know, 
you can live off YouTube, I guess, if you're hitting enough views. Uh, the way I look at it and the way I understand it is you get paid off your views. Uh, however many views you get, minutes per view, someone try to break it down. It's, it's just so much, there's so much to look at to to understand it. And a lot of people think it's by subscribers. It's really not. It's, it's, it's hard to really get a grasp on it, in my opinion, unless you talk to somebody that's actually been going through it and I, I haven't yet. Uh, but really, honestly, it's just awesome to even get something in return. So as of today, we actually have 73 videos out, guys. 73 videos in a matter of, I believe my first video was launched in February. First week of February, I believe. So <laughs> three months. Honestly, it's three months into this. Three and a half months. We'll say that. I'll say three and a half months. 73 videos. Not bad. Um, and I feel that my videos have come a long way. So I believe that this whole... YouTube thing has uh, it has evolved me and, and I've grown into a better person. And I've had people tell me that they can see the confidence rising, they can see just the overall growth in me, and that's that's awesome. That and I really appreciate people you know reaching out, and telling me that, let me know that they acknowledge it and see it as well, because that lets me know that I'm on the right path. And that's truly what I that's truly what I, I, I preach and I, I tell you guys from the beginning of this is that we gotta get better, we gotta grow, we gotta get bigger, stronger, and just overall well sense of being. We have to be better, and that's what I tried to do. And I feel that I'm on the right path to um, accomplish that that task. So, uh, man, I just you know I, I just want to make this video today to talk about that because I was excited. You know, as soon as I got the email, I was thrilled. I was just like, man, you know, you know, finally, finally, you got something to return. For you know everything that you put into this, Troy. For everything you put into Pure Fitness, you know I put. It, it don't seem like a lot to some people. Okay, I get that. It don't seem like the videos are hard. My workouts kind of take a hit when I do these um, workout videos, and I know I need to be more informative in them, and that's my goal. But uh, not to get off subject, uh, Radachi, who's been a big part of helping me develop this channel and help me with ideas, help me record and do the workout videos, informative information, information videos. He no longer is able to go to the gym with me. He, uh, he I, some of you guys have, might recall, he had a, a newborn a couple weeks back, and uh, his his um, his girlfriend is back to work now. So he's actually staying at home with his little one in the mornings. He's not able to get to our gym. He has to go to a gym that's 24 hours to go after his work. So uh, and uh, you know, Snywater's in there. He's comfortable with working out on the camera. He's not real big into talking on camera. Bass is not big into talking on camera. So I've kind of been in a plummel of, work, you know, I have to work with what I have. And I'm a big, big believer in you've got to make the best out of every situation. And don't get me wrong, that's not where I love working out with them guys. I'll continue to work out with them guys. It's just, uh, you know, I'm not going to force them to do something on video that they don't want to do. So I'm kind of in a hard spot right now. And we're going to work around it though. We're gonna work around it and we're gonna make the best out of it. And uh, maybe I get them to come around and get involved a little bit more. Um, as I was saying, my workouts, they kind of take a they kind of take a hit when I do these videos. I'm not able to, to fully put my full concentration and, and my full 100% effort into these workouts uh, and get the best pump, the best workout. So I'll spend an hour doing the workout video and then I'm trying to make up for lost effort and lost uh, you know exertion in my you know my workout and I'm trying to chase the pump at the end. So I need to find that balance. So that's that's my problem, and I, I'm going to work on that. I'm going to fix it. And, and honestly, I've been thinking about trying to find someone to come and record the workouts, make it that much easier. Record the whole workout. I want to I want us to be viewed the whole time. I want you guys to see zero sets and, and rest rest sets uh, in between sets. You know, I want you guys to see that and understand the the, the chemistry you have to have with your, your crew that you're working out with or the people that you're surrounding yourself with. You have to have this strong chemistry. If that if that one component's missing, you it, it just makes a world of difference. It just makes a huge world of difference. I don't know exactly what I'm looking for and I apologize. I'm kind of rambling here. And I'm just trying to find the right words. Back to the last thing I want to touch on is I put a lot of heart and soul into peer fitness. It's not anywhere. It's not anywhere easy as I thought it was going to be. I, I knew it'd be hard at first. I knew that it would take it would take a lot of effort and a lot of work, and I was willing to do that. I told myself I want to do whatever it takes to make this this dream of mine, this ambitious goal that I have to grow. And uh, it's 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 going a lot slower than I thought it was going to. Business is good, but it's not. I thought it'd be. Yeah, I thought it'd be like that, and I was wrong. Uh, but I'm still grateful. I'm still truly blessed because. But again, the deposit happened. I picked up four new clients right back to back. To back. Um, got a decent paycheck from work. 
you know, life's good. I have no, I am by no means rich. I am nowhere near rich, guys. But I mean, you guys seen, I went out and ate all those foods for the 10,000 calorie challenge. That, that was quite a bit of pretty penny spent. So, you know, I, I'm doing all right in aspect of money wise, but I'm a true, I'm a true advocate and believer that the world revolves around money, but I don't let it, I don't let it run me. I don't let it run me because money is the root of all evil. And there's nobody in this world but tell me different. I see some of the best people I know flip and turn a whole 180 because of money. And it's, it's an ugly thing. It's, it's truly ugly. And uh, I lost a lot of good friends due to it. I'll, and it's, it's sad. It's a sad subject, to be honest. But uh, that's what I want to talk to you guys today about. I just want to touch on those subjects. And um, for anybody wondering um, uh, how much weight I gained off my last challenge I did, I was 228.8 on the scale of my challenge the day I did my challenge. I stepped on the scale the next morning, I was 237.7. I put on almost 10 pounds from that challenge. That is insane. Usually I put on about five to six pounds. 10 pounds is just ridiculous. Uh, it wasn't a lot of food though. It wasn't a lot of food to be honest. I, I truly I truly was not full. Like I was in a miserable fullness. I was in a miserable state of mind of being because of the sugar. I that was just a, that was rough. My sugar fix is good. I'm cool on the cheat meals for a while. Um, this weekend I will not be participating in the eating challenge. I apologize. Um, I'm taking the family to the zoo, so we're going to have a nice day at the zoo. It's going to be a good time. Next weekend, next week, I think the crew and I are going to assemble to go to a Cherry Street Pub Challenge here in town. We're actually going to do this Belgian waffle challenge. It's uh, it's a hefty challenge. I attempted it once before about a year ago. I believe in July, be a year ago, I attempted it. I went in there with a, a hangover, and it destroyed me. It demolished me. I didn't stand a chance. Anyways, guys, I feel like I'm rambling and ranting. I'm kind of going back and forth on subjects. Recap real quick. I just want to let you guys know that um, YouTube's going. It's going. It's going to keep going. We're going to keep doing big things, guys. We're going to grow. It may be slow, but it's for sure we're going to grow. And I want to give a huge appreciation to everybody who's reached out to me and told me um, you know, that I have impacted our life in some way. And that you guys motivate me as much as I motivate you. And you guys help me as much as I help you. Don't ever think that your value is less than somebody else's because you truly make a difference in somebody's life. It's just a matter of who and how much. We all can make a difference in someone's life. Our values are all different, but we all have something more unique to bring to the table to the next person. Everyone has a strong area, as to where someone has a weak area in something, you have a strong area in it. So don't ever feel that you are below somebody. Don't ever go to the gym feeling that you are below this guy because he's he's 220, chiseled abs, big arms, big shoulders. Don't ever feel you're below him. Because in reality, you could have something that he admires, that he truly looks at and wonders, man, this dude has this or she has that. Just understand that we all have insecurities. But in the end, we all have strengths that we all can utilize. So again, here I go again. Oh my gosh. I'm just a rambling dude to death. It's probably because I had a six to two training a day for work. So I'm just amped and wired up. And your boy had his roosters fixed. That's what it is. It's that blue cheese. It's the depth. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, my, I believe that the, the little ones and the wife just pulled in. So I'm going to wrap this video up. And I, I'm sorry that it's so long and I rambled. I apologize. I, went, I told myself I'm going to make this shorter for you guys. And I've been slacking on that. As always, guys, please, please, please. Stay grinded, stay your course, stay on your chosen path that you choose. The path that you choose. And don't ever, ever let anybody tell you you cannot achieve your dreams. Because if you can believe it in your mind, then you feel it in your heart, you can achieve anything you want. So keep it pure, stay pure. Until next episode, guys, have a blessed day, and I'll see you guys next time.